So for the easy round, Nadine, the question is, what is the one thing you will teach your future children about your experience in pageantry? I will repeat the question. What is the one thing you will teach your future children about your experience in pageantry? You know, pageantry will never get easy, but it's always worth it at the end. It's something that I've come to learn uh, during my previous pageants, of course. And, you know, amidst all the sacrifices that you put in, in merely just preparing for it, at the end, you know, all of that just comes to, fru uh, just comes to fruition. Because you're finally there, you're finally representing your locality or your country even. And I think that merely just that, it's all worth it. Yeah, kumbaga, parang it also uh, makes you realize the, alam mo yun, no? your, your, what you stand behind for your community. No? Yes. Ganda. Thank you for that. All right, now we go to the difficult round for the for Nadine. I don't think it's technically difficult because this question is something that is close to her heart. Direct. Paso. Wait. Yeah, let's ask the. Let's wait long for that. All right, Nadine. Violence against the LGBT. LGBTQ community continues today despite the initiatives pushed for them. How can you, as a beauty queen, push for in defending their rights? I think my candidacy really um, already does that work for me. I think that being offered this, being offered such a big platform to raise a voice uh, for the concerns and the violence against the community, I think that you know that is enough. I think that it is. Uh, I think that that it is at least a stepping stone. For me to reach the goal that I uh, that I want to achieve, of course, um, I remember you know once I once I already shared that uh, once I already shared my story, a lot of people came forward with their own stories, and I think that it's a really heartwarming thing knowing that I've become this person for them. I've become someone that they could confide in and someone who could raise a voice for them when they don't feel bold enough to do so themselves. I think that. Um, of course, being given this platform, I can also empower them to do so. See, yeah. Say more partner from your perspective. Totoo naman din yun. Ayaw ni Camille na mga, ano, gusto ni Camille yung mga seryosong tanong kasi laban na laban na si, si Nadine, eh, no? So, I agree, partner, kasi kumbaga parang it all starts from awareness, spreading awareness, diba? And then, from awareness, sprouts influence, and it can influence change to the rest of the community. Ang ganda ng sagot ni Nadine. Totoo naman yun, and as I, as we as we all know, violent the as we all know, violence continues. You know, it's not just here in the Philippines, but of course around the world. Um, the world yeah. yeah, all over the world. Of course, we we don't have to look far. Unfortunately, a recent video, a, re a recent story of a gay gay person went viral again online online somewhere in in, in Mindanao, and of course. Afghanistan is uh, the people in Afghanistan are also going through a lot. The LGBTQ community in Afghanistan is also going through a lot of issues themselves. So, this is an issue that needs to be addressed, and we hope it will be addressed very soon. Because you know, with the pandemic and all of these harsh realities, there's a lot to be addressed worldwide now. <music> Oh, 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 oh,